Welcome, ladies and gentlemen. So what I have here is y equals negative 2 cosine of pi halves x plus pi. And when going through a problem like this, what, I would, what we need to be able to do is it's kind of like stop and say, all right, rather than trying to assume all this kind of stuff, let's go ahead and figure out what is all the information that we have um, according to looking at these transformations. So first thing we want to make sure is we know where the transformations are coming from. So we want to know this general equation of what the transformations are for a, b, c, and d. Whenever we're doing a sine and cosine, we always want to make sure we can determine what the amplitude is, what is the period, what is the x scale, what is the phase shift, and what is the vertical transformation. OK, so when looking at this, um, one thing I also do notice is I have a negative, right? So that's going to tell me that I'm going to have a reflection over the x-axis. Uh, I don't usually write that in there. It's just one thing I kind of have to remember, which you know we know can cause problems. So uh, maybe that's something I'll have to include. But make sure I always look for a reflection. The next part here is going to be um, dun -dun. the next part. What do we want to do? OK, well, one uh, kind of common trick that I'll see students will at least make and comments make is say, oh, it's going to be shifted you know, pi to the right. Well, first of all, it's opposite, right? And then they say, OK, well, that's pi to the left. Well, no, you got to make sure we're changing our period. So that's going to change everything. And I'll show you again how that affects it. So let's go ahead and figure out how to determine the amplitude, which is just the absolute value of a. Our period is just going to be 2 pi divided by b. x scale is whatever's inside of our function. bx minus c is, I'm sorry x scale is our period divided by 4. Our phase shift is what's inside of our equation or function. Um, set that equal to 0 and solve for x. And our vertical transformation is d. So absolute value of a, we have absolute value of negative 2, which is just equal to 2. That means the half distance of the maximum to the minimum of my graph is going to be 2. So when I'm graphing this equation, that's going to go up 2, down 2. Right? Now we're graphing cosine. We always start at the maximum. That means it's going to start at 2. We st always start at when we're graphing the initial period. I want to make sure that very correct, very clear. Period is 2 pi divided by b. So you can see I have 2 pi divided by b, which is pi halves. Okay, So now i got to multiply by a reciprocal. Boom, boom. That equals 4. So my period equals 4. Then my x scale is my period divided by my which equals 1. That means the distance from every single important point of a cosine graph, which is the maximum, the intercept, the minimum, the intercept, the maximum, is going to be 1. So I can scale this out. I can say the next, next important point will be the intercept, next important point the minimum, then the intercept, then the maximum. 1, 2, 3, 4. That is one period, right? And then we want to at least do two periods. So 1, 2, 3, 4. Again, we notice the x scale is only 1. So 1, 2, 3, 4. 5, 6, 7, 8. The distance between each x scale is only 1. All right, the phase shift. Now, to determine the phase shift, usually when we're graphing the initial period, we kind of start, as I mentioned, we start up top and we start at 0. The phase shift is going to tell you, well, where are you going to take that initial period and shift it left or right? So I prefer actually to start at where the initial period is. You don't have to, I prefer to. So to do this, I need to take pi over 2x plus pi equals 0, and now solve for 0. So to do that, I'll subtract pi. And I have pi halves equals negative pi, negative pi x. Again, I need to multiply by the reciprocal, 2 over pi, 2 over pi. And you can see I'm starting at negative 2. So actually, my graph, rather than starting at 0, 2, is actually going to start at negative 2. right? Or at least wherever this point was, now it's being shifted over to negative 2. However, the x scale and the period all remain the same. So instead of my period ending at 4, my period is now going to end at 2. And let's see if that's the case. Is there any other transformations? Oh yeah, we have a reflection. Uh, so let's go ahead and graph this without the reflection first, and then we'll see how that works. So without the reflection, I have my Top, intercept, minimum, intercept, top. Right? Actually, we'll just do one period. So it looks something like this. Right? That would be exactly one period with an amplitude 2, a phase shift of negative 2, and so forth. However, we need to reflect this. So to do that, we're going to reflect every point that is above, below, and every point that is below, above. So this is now going down to here. 
These intercepts, you can't, if since they're on the line, they're not going to reflect anywhere. That now goes up to here, and this goes down over there. So actually, my graph actually looks like this. And then to complete two full periods, and there you go. So there you go, ladies and gentlemen. That is how you graph the equation of cosine given a reflection, change in amplitude, and phase shift. Thanks.